the hope is weak with these ones, okay? You know, you, you want to have hope that they will come around and maybe, may, just maybe they'll get it. But quite frankly, um, Muhammad can't save them, all right? Buddha can't save them. Jesus can't save these delusional nincompoops, these, these morons, okay? These lunatics, all right? Jesus can't save these people. And uh, I have no hope in that they'll figure it out. You know, and moment of silence for all the individuals and families that uh, were deceived and poisoned by uh, the skewed view, um, skewed views, uh, skewed perception on life and uh, just their stance on everything they talk about here on the show. OK, um, but. Enough of that. We're here to get right into this video. Shout out to the King Squad, the King Squad family, the King Squad elites. If you're new here, smash that like button, hit subscribe. We're going to get right into this video. I hope everybody's having a great and awesome day and making their money legally and drinking their water. No, it's not financial advice. Let's get into the video. By the federal government is a big deal. And Donald Trump said, I'm not going to tell them to do it. Yeah, but he's, he's telling them to do it. Mm -hmm. Through Meet the Press, yeah. if he hasn't done it, do it. In, if he hasn't done it in, uh, in in private already, and he's appointing people who are 100% loyal to him and who know that if they want to keep their jobs, they have to do what he wants them to do. So when Donald Trump says something, believe him, people, believe listen, him. There's I, I nothing think, to wait listen, for. I think this is interesting also because they've been talking about the loyalty oaths, right. and I thought, well, so. Does that mean we get rid of the Pledge of Allegiance? Because isn't that the loyalty oath we all were, we all take? Well, when you serve when we in do the it? government, your loyalty is to the Constitution well, of the well, United States. Well, that's what I thought. Yeah, no. That's what I Which thought. Which also it's... wasn't taken very seriously. <laughs> yeah. You know, and the and the other thing is, listen, he makes lots and lots and lots of noise. He says he's going to do all these things, and he does this. And I say this, I try to say it at least once a week. He does this to keep you all. <clears throat> In a panic. He does it to. <sighs> Wrong. She's describing herself. They do this to keep people in a panic, okay? They, they do this to prevent people uh, from experiencing the, the prosperity uh, um, and, and of the economy that's to come with Trump in office, okay? It's, it's definitely not going to be a Biden economy, okay? And. Uh, yeah, you know, they have to instill fear. They have to get their audience to panic and freak out. This is the, their content is the kind of content that drives people to do what they did to Trump, okay? To sit here and pull life threatening, well, life attempts on Trump's life is where I'm getting at. Um, you know, from content that's very poisonous on the mainstream media. We all know that the Dems control the media, which is why we have to be, you know, why us patriots have to make content like this to even address the lies, to combat the amount of poison that's being put out there uh, to poison the masses, all right? You know, she's sitting here uh, uh, extremely hypocritical, saying that, oh, yeah, Trump instills fear and, and causes people to panic. You're wrong, Whoopi. You're wrong. That's you guys. That's the view. That's the the spew, the despicable view, the unfortunate view. Okay, that is the view. All right, that is what they, what you guys do. All right, you confuse the masses, you lie to the masses, you make y'all do this and talk about it. But it's so terrible. But all you, we have to do from now until January twenty first is be with our families. What family? You deleted them all. I mean, that's literally what you fought for with the Kamala Harris campaign. Like, it's literally what it was. Be with our kids. What kids? You mean your cats? Do our jobs. Make sure our checks don't bounce. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You definitely got to make sure of that. You know, you vote blue no matter who. <laughs> you guys wait for handouts. Yeah. Make sure that we are taking care of ourselves and our families. Whatever he's going to do, he's going to do. But do take our word for it. Things seem to move slowly because, yeah, they didn't come get Hillary. But he has other people who are 
ready to go. But I don't think that they can just go out and do what they want. I told you last week. I disagree with you when you say that because no, because we have the luxury of saying that because we're legal, we are successful, we are... But listen, if you're an illegal listen. immigrant in this country, you, you're not going to be not in a panic. Well, if you are uh, well, a I, woman working for the Department of Defense, you have a right to be Anna, in a panic. You... I mean, seriously. Cancel the view. I mean, if, if, if there is a petition to cancel the view, are you guys signing it? Drop down below in the comments if you're signing it. I'm just so tired of the hypocrisy and the lies and the delusion you know, there's only so much delusion I can take personally. Let me know down down below in the comments if you you know you can relate. I just I just get tired of the the lack of common sense and uh, their skewed perception of reality. Like, and on top of that, they really think Trump is a little mustache man. He's a dictator and he's gonna ruin everything. And you know, it's gonna be doom and gloom and darkness, death and destruction for the next four years. Like, what are you talking about? We just we're coming we're trying to come out of darkness death and destruction and doom and gloom uh from the biden administration you know tell people to stay fraught and like this that no, is I'm not telling people to prepare whoopi they i'm are, telling people do you telling think people they're not prepare. prepared they are prepared right. so that and means i'm saying that, that means people, that they can't be relaxing and enjoying no Christmas it when doesn't the, mean that when winter is no, coming it does you know what i'm yes winter is coming winter is coming uh for uh, anyone who votes blue, no matter who. Yes. Sorry. I mean, I disagree. Winter is, babe, winter is here. Right. Winter's been with... I'm glad you know that. That's, and my point is, we can lay down and do nothing for the next 15 days and then be freaking out for the next four yeah, or two my years. Point to you is, but we my are point, in a privileged position. Or you guys can stay out the way and uh, keep your skewed perception of reality to yourself. Or you could move out of the country. That's always an option, too. That a lot of people I have a who are going to be under his attack are not. Is going through the same thing. I want his enemies listening. I'm not panicking. Yeah. Like, we just have to we live. Gotta, we have to live. figure out what we're United panicking States for. Of America. We don't know what we're <laughs> panicking for. They're throwing 50,000 things at you to make you do this. I'm saying don't buy into that. Live your do life. what you have to do. I mean, really. I mean, really. They're trying to make us panic. They're trying to make us freak out. Donald Trump is about to be president. Oh, man. Oh, man. Great googly moogly. Trump is, oh, man. Trump is back in office. I mean, what? Seriously. I mean, like, these people really believe that the economy was much better under Biden. Comment down below if you think the economy was much better under Biden. OK, on top of that, they really believe the lies like they sit here and actually think that they're having an intelligent conversation. That's how lost they are. All right. I want to say that's how dumb, but I got to be careful. <laughs> YouTube will take that sentence and say, oh, you know, let's let's just hide the video. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's just ridiculous. The amount of delusion. I mean, seriously, you know, this whole idea of Trump has these dark intentions, like as if Trump is not this logical, strategic person. OK, as if Trump has the time to waste time as, like these people. OK, no, Trump is busy ha uh, trying to undo the mess that they've created. All right. So he's got his hands tied. You know, meanwhile, you have people like Whoopi Goldberg out here sitting here trying to poison the masses all over again, saying that Trump has people in a panic. That's not the case at all. Democrats are just lost. OK, I, and I really don't know how you stay a Democrat after seeing this election that just well, this can't be campaigns. Um you know, for the 2024 election. Like, how are you still a Democrat? Like, what don't you get? I mean, did you not see Kamala Harris and the way she handled the country? Have you not been living in America? It's just wild to me. Where are these people's brains at? I mean, seriously. Take care of your family. And when we know what is happening, when we know what we're fighting, we'll get out and fight. That's Fight for what? what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm not saying don't do anything. I'm saying don't be this because nobody can do it. Would you need like to us prepare. to stop? What are they even talking about fighting for? Like, does that make you feel empowered? Like, what, what are you talking about? I mean, really? Like, they're acting as if, like, all hell is about to break loose because Trump is in office. Comment down, drop down below in the comments if you agree, okay? Let me, let me know what you guys think. Okay, let, let me know where you guys think the views brain is at. I mean, brains are at, okay, plural. All right.
I gotta remind, I gotta remember they're, they, you know, I, I think they have brains. I, I really don't know. Or they could just be a bunch of witches fighting over one brain cell. You know, it could be that, you know, they're all like sharing a brain cell here, you know, one by one taking turns, you know, so they're all dense until they get the tiny brain cell. But I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is this is a group of narcissistic witches and uh, they're, they're sent here by Satan himself to poison the masses. That's what I know. Okay. And, um, you know, it's just, it's just the, the agenda is just so wicked. Okay. And in, I just don't understand how they, like, they really wake up in the morning, get out of bed and believe the lies. They brush their teeth, I would hope, and look in the mirror and say, you know what? I'm doing the right thing. Like, what, what are you talking about? Like, you really believe Trump is like orange man bad operation or like Trump is about to like Trump is Palpatine about to do execute order 66. Like, no, that is not what's going to happen. All right. We just came out of execute order 66 um, from Biden Palpatine and uh, we barely survived that. How did how did these people survive? When they push for high taxes and and everything to be expensive and and put our hard-earned cash in, in in all these ridiculous wars, like how do these people even survive? Like, do you not see your bank? Did you not see your bank account grow when Trump was in office? I mean, really? Like, you're really going to sit here and act like things were much better with Biden being in charge? I mean, where is the common sense at? It's just they're just so dense. I mean, honestly, just so dim-witted, dim-witted. Dense, okay, lacking a brain. All right, that's that's my thoughts on it, you guys. Drop down below in the comments what you guys think. Shout out to the King Squad, the King Squad family, the King Squad Elite. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.